on Julian Sisman here from Prepare for Performance. Coming at you with another <clears throat> tip for long-term success in the gym. Um, I talk a lot about long-term success, lifestyle. Wanted to make sure that you guys continue, yes, the uh, line to success or progress to success is not always linear. But again, it's, it's a mountain, but again, I wanna make sure that you're always compounding and building on top of the, the, the previous step or um, the downfall that you might've had so you can come back up and try to keep it as linear as possible. Anyways, so what am I trying to get at to today? Um, there always seems to be a question of, can strength training replace um, cardio, and I personally think yes. I personally think that cardio, um, especially uh, for fat loss, there's a time for it, sort of at the beginning, can help accelerate the, the fat loss, but for long-term fat loss success, strength training is the most uh, effective way of exercising. What do I mean by strength training? Um, personally, I think getting into a program where they're focusing on big compound movements like squats, deadlifts, um, glute bridges, lunges, pull-ups, all those things, pull-downs, lat pull-downs, all those things that you see in the gym, putting yourself into a program, um, you know, at a facility like this. Here I have a gym, I run Prepare for Performance. We do adult training, we do all sports performance. I'm seeing a lot of great results with a lot of our um, adults, but that's because 90% of our program is strength training focus. I'm not saying that you gotta go and get under the bar and do a back squat or deadlift off the ground. You know, there's other ways of doing that. You know, you can use dumbbells, you can use kettlebells, um, body weight to start off to learn the movements and then build off of that. Um, <clears throat> because again, like we want you to be successful in the movement. We don't want you to uh, do something, have bad form, doesn't look right. We want you to have success every time you come in the gym, every time you step out of this gym, we want you to say that was the best workout, okay? And the best experience I have had in the gym. Um, so, strength training, why does it help? Well, you can hit, you can definitely hit two different, you can hit cardio in, in strength training where you do higher reps, maybe two or three sets, higher reps, like getting around like 20 to 30 reps, could just be body weight. Um, and you're gonna get that heart rate up especially if you wear a heart rate monitor and for like a few weeks and see how your heart rate is when you go into a gym and then compare that to um, when you go into, um, you know, do a cardio session, go for a run, or maybe if you go um, do like a spin class. To be honest with you, your heart rate is probably gonna be the same if you do some type of spin class, but here's the, here's the kicker. The kicker is you're working more muscle when you are doing strength training versus when you're doing like a spin class or you're running. You're not really breaking down muscle and, cap <clears throat> and capable of rebuilding it and building more muscle. And when you build more muscle, you are going to burn more fat because your muscle is more metabolic than fat. But when you burn, when you, you, when you do cardio, yeah, you're gonna burn fat. But over time, there's sort of diminishing returns. And then you start breaking down more muscle, you don't have as much muscle, um, and you just don't get sort of like, you, you, what people want is like, I wanna be toned. Yes, you're gonna be toned, but you're gonna be very, you're gonna be more, more or less like, very, uh, you're gonna have muscle, but it's not gonna be as like, like thick, and um, you know, there's gonna, not gonna be a lot of volume. And I'm not saying that women 
when you strength train with us are gonna be looking like guys where you have these like bulging muscle and you know veins popping out. What I mean is you're gonna be toned, you're gonna feel great, you're gonna be lighter. Um, and of course, like when you strength train, you're, you're gonna be significantly skinnier because you're gonna lose fat. Um, and because the muscle is less dense, you're gonna be way, way, you know, look way thinner. So, um, but you might be, but here's the other thing is when you build muscle, because the muscle is dense, um, it might be, the, it might make you seem heavier because, um, you know, it's dense, it's, it's, it's really thick. And so that's a, a, a sort of kicker slash side note that you gotta think about when you're doing uh, strength training. But to answer the question of does strength training, can it replace cardio? Yes, I personally only do cardio like once or twice a week on like, uh, most people try to do it like three or four times a week. I personally think like you should, you should change it, strength training like, you know, three or four times a week and only run like one or, one or two times a week for like three to four months. And you know, I guarantee you, you'll see a huge difference in your body composition. So hope this helps, hope this makes sense. If you have any questions, comment below. I'm here to help you guys out. I'm gonna be putting out more movies, uh, more videos on this. Uh, try to answer some questions that I find um, through clients and um, other areas that seem to, uh, I get just walking around and, and, um, and from comments on social media and things like that. So hope this helps. See you guys next time.